Hey guys, Warren here, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be playing AQ3D. We're doing our third episode of 1 to 17 leveling. Let's see how long it takes. We're going to be starting Heartwood Forest today. Actually, I started one quest last episode, and today we're doing Heartwood Forest. So let's get going. We're level 5 currently, and that means we got 12 more levels to go. And we've only been doing this for one day so far, and we need to kill like some blue leather from these flying eyes. You flying eye, I'm gonna punch you in the eye so hard you're gonna be blinking for the rest of your life. You're not gonna be able to see the dang floating eye children anymore. It's just not gonna happen. Uh. <laughs> I wish I was creative enough to come up with like these goofy monsters that they've come up with over the years. I so badly want to become a game designer, but it's not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna get some boring job like an engineer or something like that because I'm not a very good artist, but I do like building things and like drawing designs up. I still haven't uploaded my catapult, but I forgot about that. I built a catapult for my junior year end of course project. And it was pretty cool. I shot 60 yards, so I need to upload the video sometime. Make sure you leave a comment and say, yeah, I want to see that. I want to see that. Again, uh, if, if there's anything you want me to, if there's any quests or something you want me to run, just leave a comment and say, like, I want you to run this dungeon, and I want you to do it now. You better do it now, or I'm just going to hit you over the head with a hammer. <laughs> of course, that will change up our level and timer, so we just have to, like, take time. Even it out, we'll figure out something. We'll figure something out to make it even. So we'll have a realistic timer. If you don't know what I'm doing, we're doing uh, a guide. Not really a guide. Well, kind of a guide. Uh, this this little series is going to be a guide for new players on how long it takes to level through AQ3D. And kind of a tutorial on which quests to run and like the order in which to run. And it's also could be said it's a warrior class um, guide because I'm only using warrior on the entire way through this. Even if it would be easier to use mage or something on a boss when you try to use warrior. That would be easier to collect items and stuff so we only have to get the warrior type skins. Right now I'm not encountering any problems with the gear which at the high levels, you think pretty hard about which gear you're getting. Right now, I'm just taking the three gear that the quest has given me. And then we need to collect bones. We need to kill one more of these guys. Just please drop your bones. Please drop your bones. I like your tailbone. It's nice and pointy. He didn't drop his tailbone. He was probably creeped out by my sentence. Eventually, the monsters are going to be better, and then I'm actually start thinking about which skills I'm using instead of just spamming buttons. Ooh, three monsters. Because they're going to do a lot of damage. I'm telling you that somebody likes it. This one. Because they're going to kill it. Level 10 is doing this quest. Okay. They're doing dungeon level 10. Nice. Uh, read spade. Wolf Killer. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm listening to uh, old music. And that's why I keep popping my head. I apologize. I apologize. I just gonna keep happening. I must like change what music I'm listening to. Words. I like listening to this stuff. If you want to know what my favorite song is, it's Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles. I like it because it's funny, and I like it because most of my classmates hate it because <laughs> they think it's annoying. It's going to be so cheery about the sun coming out, but I think it's funny. I don't know if there's any like, actual like, importance behind it, but I think it's awesome. <laughs> I like Mokumi's online. Nice, let's hope he doesn't come and mess with our stuff. Oh yeah, Mokumi's back, by the way. He's uh, returned from wherever he was been for the last while. So he messaged the other day, he's like, And you're stupid. <laughs> and I was like, And you're short, what's up? <laughs> that was pretty funny, it was a good reunion. We had a nice little chat, about two lines along. I'm up to these wolf spade already. <laughs> 
can't wait for AQ3D to actually like sync your friends list with your like, Steam friends list. It would make things so much simpler. So right now I have friends on Steam that aren't on my friends list, even though I don't have friends in this, on this account. But yeah, it's just annoying. Do I not have friends on this account? Seriously? Whatever. Yeah, I know. Also, I want to up the friends list. We need more friends list slots. I keep running out on my main character, and I have to delete people who are like level two and three and stuff. And like, oh, I feel so bad because you're not subscribed. But I need these high level characters to help me through things. Bye bye. And then the main characters go off my friends list. They're dropping the stupid spade. I don't remember this being one of the little drops. from this area. We're gonna grab the defense point. I never did get the cardboard helmet earlier, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. It may matter a little bit whenever we're in a higher dungeon. It's like, oh, I'm getting one shot. But right now, against these little monsters, it's not gonna matter. We could be running dungeons right now, but I kind of just want to get to level 6 before I start running the, uh, again. This dungeon area. Before I start running the barrel point dungeons. Because if you don't know, dungeons are one of the main ways to work in this game, apparently. Because it's just you're just running through. Most people use warrior to attack a bunch of stuff at once. And using your five skill you get more strong you get stronger and your allies get stronger, which if you have running warrior, you can give each other a 30% bump to attack, which then you can just destroy everything. Especially if you do it all at once, and perfect. But some people don't run the crap dungeons. But yeah, that's a good way to run dungeons. That's great. You get three good, really good people, you can run a dungeon like three levels below you and just rush through it, just destroying things, and you get a good amount of XP because you're just going through it so fast. And it actually is better than grinding mobs at your actual level. Kind of like what, what I'm doing right now is very ineffective. If you had a three, you could just go in a dungeon. And just Tons of levels. That was how uh, a couple of people used to do it back in the closed beta. Also, I used to grind uh, the slimes underneath uh, Yogars. Normally, nobody goes down there anymore because it's just it's kind of a dead zone. Because uh, I mean, you need help to get the boss down there, and a lot of people just go down there. So if you do go down there, you get dead meat. Sad. I mean, it was a cool zone. There was normally like 10 people in there, and we'd all be just farming the slimes. Because at level 8, if you had enough people, if you had two or three people with you at level 8, you could kill these level 10 slimes, I think they were. And you basically you used your 4 skill, and you actually you didn't even have to use a skill. You just ran around and you aggroed everything, and then you would use your 5, which would uh, enrage everything and give you a buff and then you would run through them with your four hit them and so they'd only get about five or six of them actually hit you and then you just kept doing running back through and through the little group until you uh, had all your levels and it was a pretty easy way to level sometimes it would be bad if you didn't have enough people and you could just you, they would destroy you but other than that it was pretty cool way to level it made a lot of people work together, which was good back then, because, I mean, not people didn't. Monsters die! One wolf down, three to go. Oh, it's a rabid wolf, let's kill it. Let's help this dude out. I'm guessing this is the past the Living Stone Caverns. I've never actually gone to the paths instead of teleporting. Let's teleport. <laughs> Ooh, giant wolf pelt. That's that's a good item. That's a crafting item too. I can use that a little bit. This is a dual quest, isn't it? It's kill us and wolves and eyes. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I can kill eyes on the way to the wolves. I know I'm probably talking pretty fast for some people, and like just the way I'm going over things, it's just I'm sorry. I do everything in my head normally, so talking out loud. I tend to rush what I'm saying. Let's see what happens. We have 10 more minutes of leveling. And then that'll be the end of today's episode. 
so sad. But it has to be that way because I keep playing this game for more than an hour before my brain just goes. If you've watched any of my streams, you know that from a fact. Because I will, after like an hour of streaming this game, I would just like. I gradually just, I stop talking as much. And I'm just sitting there. Especially if there's like very few people watching. I'm just sitting there like. When is my life going to be over? I want to shoot myself. This game is not made for long, drawn out sessions. I know some people can play this for like several days straight. It's like, oh my gosh, like, how do you do that? That's retarded. <laughs> Back when, when I first started playing, I did play a lot. So that probably could be half my problem. I just played too much at the beginning. <laughs> Which was around this time last year, which is pretty cool because my parents still don't like very much video games. So I would go to the library, and that's actually where I was at the end of the closed beta when they did the, like, the closed beta ceremony. I was at the library, and I wanted to stream, but I couldn't because I wasn't allowed to talk in the library. Which was just funny. And all these people were just like looking at me really weird because I was like, yeah, yeah, it's like celebrating and stuff whenever new monsters would spawn. I did record it all, of course, but it was just no video, and just me being really quiet, sitting in the library. <laughs> that was probably my favorite moment of playing this game, because the entire community was on Discord, and I was just sitting there listening to everybody talk, and like just commenting every once in a while with a chat message. That was probably the most fun time. I can't wait for the game to actually release. That release night is going to be awesome. I really hope I'm somewhere where I can actually play and like talk to people that day. That's gonna be awesome. It September? I think it's either September or November. I hope it's not September. <laughs> I have a college visit in September, which should be pretty cool. Maybe I can. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog that one though. I can't tell you much about it. But that should be pretty cool. If you don't know, I'm a senior this year. I'm starting my senior year. And, uh, and it's gonna be hopefully pretty awesome. Well, I mean, awesome in terms of that where I live is very, very relative. <laughs> uh, I got senior level engineering this year, so I'll be able to do some pretty cool robotics projects, which is awesome because I've never taken robotics before. It was offered, but uh, I couldn't take it because I ran out of classes for sophomore year. And so now I'm going to have to take robotics like a senior level class that has robotics in it that you're supposed to already know how to program and stuff so I'm gonna be a little behind but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it <laughs> and hopefully it'll work if it doesn't it'll be kinda sad <laughs> it'd be bad to fail a class for senior year oh my you don't get to graduate you don't have a chance to retake it Oh no, the blood is coming out of the stones. So what all classes are you guys in? Are you excited for your school years that are coming up? Are you are you just happy to have summer going on? What are you doing this summer? That's just a bunch of random questions. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments. I'll probably answer pretty fast. I'm good about that. <laughs> One guy, uh, she was kind of, I think it was a girl or something. She was commenting, she was like, oh, I did. She was asking me some questions. And then I answered within like like a minute of her asking. She's like, I really did not expect you to answer that quickly. I was not ready. Uh, I don't have a response question. <laughs> and, then, and then she answered back pretty fast. But it was just kind of funny. Interesting. The community in AQ3 is awesome. If you haven't, if you haven't joined like a Facebook community or anything, or, or one of the Discords, make sure you find one. Because I mean, you'll meet all sorts of random people. Just make sure you turn your notifications off for most of the chats. Because people will talk all day and they will run your data down on your phone. That's great. I've had problems with that so far this year. It's been great. But whenever you leave it on by accident, oh. You better be watching yourself. Is my forest tunic complete? Yes, it is. Let's equip that baby. Get some good stats going. Monsters should be a little bit easier to kill now. I wonder if we can craft anything for this guy yet. Let's check. Craft 
craft shop. Oh, I can. I can already craft the cloak. Uh, vision, crit, or haste. Yeah, this is more evasive, I think. Yeah. So the defense will be higher. Um, does he have any weapons? No, he has the cloak. Okay, I'm gonna definitely need to get all these. Because this is one of the harder zones, level 6. This one thing started getting a little difficult. So I gotta make sure I get the items for that. I'm getting close to that level 6 point. As you can see, the leveling does slow down once you hit level 5. Because we've been alive for almost an entire episode now. And it's just gonna get slower and slower as we go. <laughs> Especially since I'm not using XP potions, which would make this a lot easier. If we were using XP potions, we'd probably already be able to set it by now. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. If somebody donates enough money one day, I'll do an entire XP potion leveling thing. So I'll use XP potions the entire time. Dude, that'd be a lot of money. I'd be like, I don't know. Maybe it's a thousand dragon crystals, I think. Still, it's a good, it's a good amount of money to be using just ton of dragon crystals. Alright, 1700 XP, now we're level 6. Woo! Um, kill more wolves. Yay! My entire life, just killing wolves. <laughs> and doing it right now. Yeah, see, I'm still listening to music. I want to get to the quest where I click this thing and then everything just gets really fast after that point. Oh, I'm gonna go to the wolves over here. There's a lot more of them. Hit this one, which aggroes, and then I hit this one. This thing. These are all automatically aggroing monsters. So do it better. If you want to know which monsters automatically aggro on you, it's the ones that have the, the red uh, name tags like up here. See, the blue flying eyes have red name tags, so they're going to automatically aggro on me when I go past them. Um, the ones that won't attack you automatically are the orange ones. You have to hit them first, which is good sometimes. You can just run through a zone without getting completely face destroyed. In times like this, when you're trying to level fast, it's good for them to automatically aggro on you because you don't have to deal with it as much. Now I gotta sit here and wait a second. My health regens. Go help this guy with a wolf. And I hit it once. There's my health. Today. <laughs> oh, and I got the heart from that guy too. Wow. My one hit. Sarcastic one shot got me a heart. Not even trying. <laughs> Alright, let's end this quest. Get my 1400 XP. And I gotta deliver the heart. Wow, is the voice of the forest gonna eat the heart? Wow, okay, that's sad. He's gonna eat his heart. Goodbye, heart. Now we need to plant some flowers. This is gonna be the last quest for the day. Oh, there's an actual reason we're playing flowers. We're playing it to bring bees in. I didn't know that. That's a that's thing I did not know. We're not really playing flowers, are we? We're kind of just regenerating the flowers that are already there. I feel like we're doing this in like the way wrong order. <laughs> we just ran all the way across this zone. Oh, I remember when you, you there was a there was a glitch up here. And if you like did like slash levitate or something right here, and then you turned it off, you get stuck in this. And it used to be the funniest thing. A bunch of people just AFK there, and then just be a bunch of people just stuck in the, the thing. That was pretty cool. I remember that. I was the one person. I was the first person to post a video on that one. I think. There's just so many things in this game that like I was either 
one of the first people to upload a video about it, or I was the first person to upload. And that was that's just a cool thing to me. It would be a part of the beginning of this game. I wasn't an elf, of course, because I just was, didn't know much about AQ at that point. I'd played AQW like everybody else back in the day, but uh, I'd been very out of it since then. And I was watching one of Corey's streams. I was a Minecrafter then. And I was watching one of Corey's streams, and he was playing this game. He was like, an AQ 3D just came out. And I looked it up, and I was like, that looks cool. So, yeah, that's the end of my episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, I'm tired. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see next time. Because, I mean, we're just going to be leveling. If you want to see me, like, do something else in the game with my other character, I can do that. But, uh, yeah, it's been three episodes. We've played an hour of the game. We've got six levels. So, six levels in one hour. That's pretty good. So, peace out, guys. Hope to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.